a very very warm good morning a sunday morning to everybody and thank you so much for being part of this wonder years uh web online program we've been living our lives on zoom for the last two years but things have opened up but it also taught us a lot of things so once again thank you so much for all of you for being here and hopefully we'll have a wonderful session today a lot of learnings a lot of planning and as we say let this best day of the day of the week be your sunday i'll be your host daud bhai the founder of golden sparrow and something that very very you know uh, is is close to my heart is make sure that learning happens at all times at every medium so as we ask the parents to join in what i would like to tell you and share the whole idea is two years 25 months exactly to be precise have been where we completely went digital so one thing we learned online people were reluctant you know they were not sure was learning going to happen and still i know a lot of friends a lot of school principal who were waiting for pandemic to end for the learning to start but something strange happened in the few months that we saw people started going around the world they started shopping they started traveling they started communicating and all of this was virtual you know so we use google maps we use google earth we use e-commerce sites we use a lot of big baskets and ubers for travel and delivery if not for physical movement and that's exactly the world our children started inhabiting you know if you look at this entire picture it depicts what the world of online was a child's imagination has no boundaries and when i say that i realize we could tell them stories we went through lands of myths and dragons and unicorns and kings we even had physical classes yogas and footballs and push ups and and pull ups all online teachers became better with technology teachers started using kahoots and quizix and mentimeters for teaching them there were youtube videos there were google earth plannings there were new institutes and organizations that kept across it and among them was a program we started called the hub schooling what's the uniqueness about hub schooling we said that if you cannot come to school let me bring school to your home and in two years we do not wait for schools to open of course i would love to go out have a game of football eat some ice cream physically but can we keep waiting and that is when the idea of the en entire online program started the online program became even more vital and important especially for considering the pre primary or the younger section where the health became priority you know while our schools are wonderful we still knew there were hygiene issues there were buses to go through and that is where we wanted to make sure that this is where learning does not stop in a endeavor to make the best of the learning we got in touch with best of the mentors best of the educators best of the teachers and today i'm so proud to invite one of our guests a speaker on par excellence who will be sharing her story a wonderful journey with regards to what good education can be you know so let me quickly introduce my speaker for today and the flow of the event would be we'll have the guest speaker talk about a very interesting topic and we'll ask her what is about heart maps and then i will also speak to two very very enterprising preschool teachers the moment i think preschool yeah they are bubbly they are energetic they are young and they brave the hands they climb mountain they rescue dogs but the end they are very passionate teachers singers dancers you know they are multi talented people and that's what makes the program very good so all of you a very very warm welcome can i get a quick hello from everybody hema ma'am valeta and ani ma'am christina ma'am how are you all okay so they are wonderful people and i think i take a back seat <laughs> thank you so much out sir for the wonderful introduction and a very good morning to all my parents and teachers present here and it speaks a lot about you that sunday morning you are shelling out that's a special morning for all of us because it's a weekend and here you are with us to learn something as well as share something let me tell you this is not going to be a teacher and a student kind of a thing that i speak and you listen no it's going to be a two way conversation you may share your ideas and even i got to i i learn more in fact whenever i impart trainings i have always seen that i learn more than my participants okay it's it's just sharing it's just a common platform wherein we share and exchange our experiences and knowledge so without further ado 
Uh, let me introduce myself. I am Hema Chandra. I run my phonics center at Ghatkopal. And I have always tried this heart maps with my children, as well as uh, in my teacher's workshop, and it's real hit. I think each one of you should give a try. When, I, when I'm going to talk about it, it might look very simple. It might sound hard, hai. but actually, when you pen it down, you will gradually see the impact of heart map that's going to leave on you as well as your children, okay? So not more than ever, it is very important that we create spaces for ourselves, our own children, as well as our students to express our feelings and process our emotions, which is very, very important. You need to vent out somewhere. For decades, teachers have been trying and guiding students into more authentic writing experiences. One of the lessons I'm going to share is through heart maps, wherein our children are going to explore what we hold inside our heart. Probably our feelings, probably our passion, uh, the vulnerabilities that we have within us, each of us have our own weaknesses. So we may highlight, we may know our vulnerabilities and also the wonderings, the amazement about the world around us. So here we are going to share a few of the pictures of the heart maps that has been shared by my students, the batch which I conduct, as well as my teacher's training. Okay, so let me share a screen. Sir, am I ready to share the screen? Yes, ma'am. Go ahead. You can share your screen. And as Hema ma'am is sharing a screen very quickly, you know, she's very humble down to earth, but we must quickly tell her 15 years of teaching, the founder of Word Musti, you know, with a lot of degrees. Some of them are really prestigious. She's been working with a project called Pipe, a private preschool education program for improvement, a CIDT teacher from University of Cambridge, TOEFL, TOEFL. Hema ma'am, anything else in education you haven't done yet? <laughs> oh, there's a big list. There's always a to-do list. There's always a room for improvement. That's so every year, I, so is yours, I, just, I just spoke with my husband that my visiting card has to grow bigger and bigger every year with me pursuing more and more degrees. <laughs> okay. So welcome to my heart map. Okay. Here I'm going to share a sample which I tried with my own child. Okay. So let me uh, have a chance to sharing it with you quickly in one minute. I would request all of you to be ready with A4, A3 size paper, whatever you have uh, in hand uh, with colorful markers. Let's try out, okay? And the best part is related to heart map, there's nothing right or wrong. Everybody has their own way of expressing. So whatever you do is going to be one of the best heart maps ever, okay? So I am basically authorized Jolly Phonics and Jolly Grammar Trainer updated by Jolly Learning UK. I run my phonics center at Ghatkopal, which is started in my drawing room. And now gradually I own three centers at Ghatkopal, uh, catering to almost 400 to 500 children uh, annually. We conduct offline as well as online sessions and we have teachers across the globe where we have imparted the training. So the first steps is let's get ready with the A4 size sheet, okay? And then what I want you to do is first, I'll just run through my presentation and then I'm going to give you five minutes to try your own heart map, okay? So right now I want all of you just to be away with the pen and paper, just keep it ready and listen and see the, uh, I'm going to share a few ideas that has been done by my teachers so that you can put more creativity into your heart map, okay? So we will be ready with a heart shape. We are going to draw a heart shape on the A4 size sheet. And also in one other sheet, we are going to list down all the things that is very close to our hearts, okay? Which I call it as compartments. There's always going to be small, 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 small compartments, which is which fills up our heart, okay? So we will talk about the first things first is we are going to focus on the happiness quotient. And this is what you need to do when you have one-on-one -on -one session with a child. You can try this with your own child. Just sit down calmly at your favorite corner of the house, talk to the child, bond with the child, and just list down what makes your child happy. It could be anything, okay? So let's find our happiness portion. I would suggest parents to try this activity yourself for you as well as your child. 
So uh, maybe I'm, I'm going to meet you soon for the next workshop in the next month. And I would love to see two heart maps. One is for the child and one is for the mom. So here we are going to list down. For example, on the left-hand side, it talks about the adult liking. It could be teaching, that makes me happy. It could be doodling, it could be shopping, it could be spending time with my parents, it could be exertions. Okay, so this is something which a teacher or an adult might love. It might differ from person to person. On the right side column is something which a child could be able to relate to. Maybe the favorite time he has is going to be pizzas and pastas or watching movie or playing a game with uh, his parents or meeting friends, maybe Milano cookies or just clicking pictures. It could be anything. Okay, so quickly, I would want, while I give you five minutes, quickly just jot down. You can have four, five, six, ten, whatever. Okay, whatever is your liking. You can have five, you can have ten. As I told you, there's nothing which is right and wrong. You create your own heart map. So we are going to jot down this list and then try to fill in the captions in the heart map. As I told you, our heart is going to be compartmentalized into few parts. So here I just share it with you. Can you see this heart? It is compartmentalized into six or seven parts. So Raji's heart map, that is one of my teacher. Okay, so the priority, she enjoys being with the family. She enjoys while she's doing yoga or maybe cleaning up the house or just by praying God, teaching, shopping. See everything she has represented by tiny little doodles and try this with your children. I'm sure they are going to fall in love with the heart maps and you can doodle each caption. Let's say you had five caption. Okay, and then try to represent it by pictures. Doodling is an in thing. Even if the child is not really good with the spellings and he needs help, he may write on his own and then try to draw and express it. Yeah, okay, maybe just a dive in the swimming pool can excite him. So probably he would be better when he draws the picture to express him more. This is how we are teaching the child to be more expressive. So doodles also plays very important part. And here you can give them a sheet where you have this tiny doodles, which represents beautiful expressions. For example, here you can see, this is a smiling boy. Here there is a sad boy. Here there's a boy who is like wondering a small tiny doodles. And as I told you, a child may create his own doodles. There's no nothing fixed uh, template that you have to do it this way. Okay, he, he, he just needs to be more expressive. So he might pick up any of the pictures, you give them a paper wherein they just need a basic help. Otherwise, they can create their own doodle and try to express it. Okay, can give them some time. Give a moment. Sorry, uh, just yes? can you unshare and share again? Uh, some people oh. are unable to do it. It's okay, we can see okay. most of us you can just unshare, man. Okay, sure. I'll do that. And then make it large, maybe F I O. Okay. Yeah. Can you make the screen large now, then? Can you go below? From the beginning, yeah. You can just zoom from the beginning. From the beginning, beginning. just a yeah, second. Yeah. Yes, right. uh, stop and share from the beginning. Okay. Uh, are you all able to see my screen? Yeah, we can. Just it because I cannot. <laughs> I cannot see my own screen. Just give me a second. Ah, yes. Yes, can you see this? Two heart maps coming on the screen. Perfect. So here you can see this is. Ma'am, we can still see only welcome to my heart map. Yeah, welcome to heart uh, map. That's all. Ma'am, oh, would you okay. just unshare? Make it large. Hold on. Don't worry. We will work it out. Just make it large now in your own screen without sharing. About the happiness quotient, as I told you, the left side you see are all the likings an adult might have. On the right hand side, you may see the compartments which a child might love it. Okay. And then we have, we will try to fit in the compartments in our heart. So here we have, try to add small tiny doodles to express your compartments. Here are the pictures, but a child can be as creative as he wants. So here I'm going to share a few of the heart maps, which is done by the students as well as teachers. And it could be any shape. You can compartmentalize the way you want. It can have five, it can have 10. 
Okay, here you can see music, reading, teaching, cooking. Here also you can see spending time with mom and dad, uh, spending time with family, yoga, shopping. Then we have another heart map. See this? Yes. So just see how it is done colorfully segregated. So a child can do this colorful. See, the, uh, the teacher has put tiny hearts in a bigger heart. Here. And you can just hung up in the corner where the child is spending most of the day so that you remain focused. You are emphasizing on the things that you like. So what? how does heart map help is Let's say you have jotted down five and you are implementing two of the things already. The th remaining three things is on the to-do list. So every day it keeps on coming in front of your eyes. You remain more focused and you want to achieve it more and implement in your day-to-day -day life. So a, a simple example I'll, I'll just narrate you is when I got married, the first thing I told my in-laws was, I need to do something that I like something we you, we always have that tiny little inner voice inside us yes so i told them you give me two hours in a day to pursue my passion and the remaining 22 hours i would devote it to the family so the two hours makes you run through the whole day with your best energy and giving you 100 percent so i think each parent here would surely have an inner voice you just need to sit down jot it down pen it down Put a heart map, hung it on the wall, keep focused, set your goals, jot down things that makes you happy. Increase your happiness quotient. When you are happy, you pass happiness to your own child. <coughs> Sorry. When you are happy as a teacher, you pass the happiness to your own learners. Okay. So here are the few, I'm sorry. So here you see example, these are done by my children. This is done digitally by my third grader. This is done so neatly compartmentalized with my second grader, okay? She loves animals, she loves vacation, she loves nature, rain, it could be something very simple. This is a heart map again done by a first grader. So this is how you make a child do it according to their age. And here you see, uh, this is what I, I just give you five minutes quickly to do your heart maps. Share it in our group, the creative writing WhatsApp group. It could be okay. If you don't have time for coloring, that's okay. Just compartmentalize and share it. And thank you so much, Dowd, sir, for giving me this opportunity. All the educators as well, as well as parents and the team teachers for from Golden Hub Sparrow School. My uh, sincere thanks to all of you for giving me this wonderful opportunity on Sunday morning. And now the session remains open for the questions and I pass it on to the doubt, sir. Thank you so much, ma'am. And such wonderful, simple concept done so well. And I'm sure all of us would love to do something very similar to this because at the end of the day, it is, it is these programs that make a difference. You know, the heart maps, how do you engage a child? How do you engage a student? And thank you, Hema, ma'am. And of course, we'll have a lot of questions coming our way uh, for you. And hopefully, you know, uh, you, are, you are someone who we look upon and we, we will make sure that we actually get answers to some of the questions we work around. Before I go on, very quickly, uh, okay, I've got a question already and I'll, I'll take these questions. Once I introduce a couple of more concepts here, so we will take this golden for, forward. The idea that we are talking about is a lot of learning can happen and it's happening online. Most of us as parents are worried about a child's safety as what well should be. You know, uh, are we, are we you know, vaccinated? Are the buses safe? Are the schools hygienic? Do we still have to wear masks? In this area of uncertainty, what we say is an online education also offers, you know, an alternate to learning. You can parallelly do a lot of things. Number one, one of the biggest benefits I've seen in online is the kind of resources you get. You know, who would have wondered that sitting in Ghatkopar, Mumbai, she would be training and teaching parents and teachers all over India. So you've got two primarily groups of schools now co-sponsoring this entire event. Golden Sparrow, the online program, is also based in Sibus, Navi, Mumbai. And we've got Kenridge, which is in Chennai. Both the institutes decided to come together and said, okay, can we invite our parents for these events? 
on a weekend on a program in fact we are looking at starting a phonics training program for the parents and of course who better than hema chandra ma'am where we will we'll talk to you will say okay how do you learn phonics not only wait for the school fee but you also become equipped so the students learn better the idea is to combine these learnings and actually have real life learning these are actual pictures from sea woods where we had this first opening of a real business studies lesson the students were you know selling wine mojito or or, or limbu pani depending on the on the group they were talking to and they were buying things they had vada pavs they had kimas they had lot of business studies going around and this is what make learnings better you know please make sure that you become a part of this learning this is where we say we use the best of the international curricula from cambridge we use nis the open schooling and that is where cambridge and nis becomes a force for schools like cambridge international and golden sparrow and this is what we're trying to do another very important feature we love to do is add the sdg goals what are the goals 17 goals and as you come become a part of the program you learn about them plus we use a lot of technologies google drives assessments maps youtube the idea is our resources are with us let's make the best use of it you know before i go on and ask about resources let me quickly talk about the teachers who make these resources possible so can i quickly invite two of my very bright teachers have a quick input into their mind what they think of Annie and Valetta, ma'am. Hello, Annie and Valetta. How are you? Hello, sir. We're doing good. Just good, sir. Let me remove the spotlight and let me just put the gallery view. Let me quickly introduce both these wonderful teachers out there, and then we'll we'll have a little chat with both of them. So let me pin both of you, Annie and Valetta, ma'am. Please, if you allow me, so you can just say hello to your team members. There we are. All right, Annie, ma'am. Very quickly. Uh, You know, you know, you heard the new song. Let's skip to the good part. But this, she is the good part of it, right? Born in Gaya, most likely under that enlightenment tree that we have always seen Gaya about. Traveled all across Kolkata, Mumbai. Now settled down in Pune. Any man is a multi-talented teacher. You know, she's done an international diploma in teacher training and yoga program. Wow! Now that's called flexibility. She's a pet lover, a storyteller, and a dancer. Any ma'am, wonderfully welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, and I will be always grateful to be a part of Golden Sparrow. So yes, as you said, I'm a pet lover. So being a pet pa parent and a animal rescuer, I have realized one thing that you know, animals and kids both have so many things in common. Both are social beings. so whenever i say uh, show affection to be a, to kind towards animals it's not only about showing affection but it's always about a uh, power of observation because if you observe them nicely and beautifully then only you will get to know what your child really love to do so it's very important to observe your kids because you know why it might work for one dog not necessarily work for other dog as well so similarly it goes for kids as well what might work for one kid not necessarily going to work for other kids as well so it's uh, it's you know they love to give you back so more you will give them more you will love them more you will show care to them they will give back to uh, all the things unconditional so it's very important to observe your child and always you know uh put some efforts that what they like and involve yourself that okay they like playing or maybe they like going out or like him at ma'am said like whatever they like, love to do make a note of it and try to involve your kids you know doing certain things then it will going to help you to build a beautiful bond with between you and your child so it's very important to observe your kids and to know what they really love to do so this has helped me a lot in teaching and i hope that this is going to help all the parents over here so that's Absolutely. all i want to say so no no thank you so much you know when you mention about the pets and and connecting with children i think of a song who lets the dog out right and and when <laughs> when when my daughters and i see the kids around how difficult or how good it is to teach them online animal how is how do you manage these kids you know they are very beautiful loyal obedient but then when they are online how do you manage them what kind of patience level do you require Uh, so more of it, you know, it's always about connecting. 
as i said so whenever i, I start my class i always make sure that all the kids are paying attention because i feel like you know uh, small kids love more of uh, uh, you know games activities and so many things so if i say no okay okay we'll play a game today so let's go and do this go and bring this object so then they pay attention to the screen and they love doing it i mean they enjoy being uh, being online and doing class online because at the mind they know okay okay they are going to be something new today they are going to be something uh, you know different activities today so they will always be so so much into it So there is so, an excitement yeah, are, that every day brings it. Okay. Yes. So right. when when the word excitement comes in, I can think of one more teacher that she comes with a kid's favorite. She is you know energetic. She is amazing. Valeta Pereira, thank you so much, Valeta, ma'am, for coming in. A DA, then went for working for BMC head teacher. She is an entrepreneur. You run your own preschool, the Little Bubbles. It's one of the top three ones in Versailles. A mountainer, climbing around. Again, a pet favorite. Doing your MBA, you know, I can go for half an hour talking about what she does. She, by the way, also designs apparels for the pets across. And then, if she is not doing anything, she's singing or swimming around. I must add, Doctor Valetta, welcome and thank you so much. How are you doing today? Thank you so much, sir. It means a lot coming from your side. Uh, I am really very fine, and I'm uh, really very happy to be a part of Golden Sparrow. I agree with Annie, ma'am. dogs are really something not only dogs but animals it's really amazing to have them like when she said like you know uh, we compare them with the kids yes we do not treat our kids as dogs but somewhere down the line when i look at the preschoolers and i have my uh, babies like two babies kiki and sloki my pets so i realize that they are toddlers they do the same mistake as the kids and from them we learn so really my ani ma'am that was great hema ma'am i really loved your session it was beautiful <laughs> Thank you. Welcome. I have a couple of questions for you. With so much of talent that you've got, you know, an entrepreneur, singer, swimmer, what made you choose preschool as your forte? And you're excelling there, and kids love you. I know that. Why preschool? What was the attraction? What was the draw? Okay, so this is really very weird, but I never wanted to be a teacher. I either wanted to be a singer, a dancer, maybe I would be a coach. I was coaching swimming as well. So any any of these things, I was ready to do. but i didn't want to be a teacher i was forced into being a teacher the first grade i thought was eighth and uh, i found it it was good but uh, i did not enjoy i could not sing i could not dance i could not do art and craft it was all boring just going in the class and teaching i tried to make it creative but uh, still i could not have that bond with my kids i really loved kids a lot so that is when i started teaching grade 1 cbse board and i still felt something is missing something is missing and then i connected with peace school and i realized oh my god this is my peace spot like literally i would enjoy each and every day with the kids and it would be so beautiful with them because they do not have anything in their mind whatever they have is in their heart they just speak their heart out to you they love their teacher they if you tell them a for ball they'll go and tell their mom no mama a for ball it's not happen because <laughs> my teacher everything that the teacher says right yeah yes yeah. so they truly like you know finally you find someone who you can trust and you can love so that's why i love this school fantastic quickly i'll ask one question each because both of you are so talented there's so much to ask you you know anime ma'am i heard you doing the bachchan's niece uh, classes also it's something to be proud of who are you teaching yes <laughs> so it's going really well uh i'm so thankful that i got this opportunity so um basically i am associated with the uh, phonix world which is in pune so they have given me that opportunity that you know uh, we have ritesh deshmukh kids and rais kids so we'll teach them and i was like of course why not so uh you know whenever i start the class with them the energy they have oh my god it it makes me really happy and i feel so lucky to be a part of you know uh, because teaching is something which makes me happy as valeta ma'am said like you know we need we we always have to do something which gives us peace and happiness so this is how it goings and they really enjoying the more more than 
them i enjoy a lot i enjoy every session and i learn so many things from all the session i cut up so yeah this is what makes me happy wonderful i think when you talk about happy and i'll keep all of you in the loop there's so many questions coming away i'm opening the question we've got 5 10 minutes more and i always believe you know your time sunday is available hey ma'am ma i had a question you know everyone's talking phonics right now and you also spoke about heart valentine ma'am says speak the heart out tell me two questions that came from the parents number one the heart map itself how does it help in bonding between a child and a parent and why is phonics so important is it the new fashion or is really phonics very important okay so both the questions are really close to my heart i have sir i have also sent one uh, link youtube yes. link in the chat box they can refer to this after the session wherein uh, my son manith he has actually narrated how to start teaching the child to do heart maps okay with the instructions so they can follow it after the session the only thing i would like to say is when you have children coming between the age group of 3 to 6 they are a little bit shy for them it's first time the mother is putting them for the class so they might not speak their heart out they might not you might not know what is the likings of the child what is something that he dislikes but the very first session if you make him do the heart map hey come on let's talk about what do you like what do you love doing it i'm sure even the shyest child in your class is going to come up with two or three attributes that he loves doing it throughout the day and this is how when you start talking about his likings he develops a trust into teachers that yes this is a place where i can talk about my liking and my teachers are even open to listen to what i don't like so probably here if the child says i don't like writing a teacher is ready to do a tailor made class for the child where you are not to pushy about the writing at the same time you are making sure that he is not lagging behind in the phonics reading skills so when you just go through the notes and the heart maps of each child i think the next class when you meet the child you connect with him better because you can focus more on his likings and get him into confidence and also try to help him out to come out of his uh, come out of his inhibitions day to day uh, dislikes and help him overall uh, development of a child so this is how the heart map is going to help and regarding phonics i would say i remember my childhood i started reading a text uh, i remember those balbhati days nitin kicks a ball sima is playing in the park i actually started reading this text when i was in my fourth grade but this generation they are much much faster than us i have kids coming to me who at the senior kg level barely he is reaching 5 years before moving to grade 1 he is actually reading the stories the way we as an adult read it he he is even ready to uh, read a newspaper cutting so isn't this amazing just by introducing them to 42 uh, jolly phonics sounds you are opening totally a new world for the child to learn to express himself i am not trying to tell you that every word he puts it on the paper or every sentence is he writes is absolutely 100% correct no it's going to have its own errors see phonetically the child is going to be correct and he would learn to express so that's the biggest thing a teacher can help the child for a word of expression let him express let him write the points which he wants to let him open up to a new world so i think phonics is a must which actually takes care of the reading writing spelling pronunciation at a very young age there's no need for repairing it when they grow up because while they are in grade 1 and 2 we have lot many things to uh, focus on you have sentence structures you have the syntax you have the grammar you have so many things which needs to be taken care of while the child is in grade 1 and 2 so why not finish up with their reading and writing fluency before they move into first grade so they are better prepared for the new world of the primary schools so phonics i think has to be inculcated in the school as a main curriculum and that encompasses your english that yes. takes care of the whole english yeah so it has become must and i i don't know how many of you are implementing jolly phonics but it started with one school in uk and now it has spread in more than 150 countries just imagine a product going so viral 
in 150 countries. I'm not telling the number of schools. So how can a product go viral 110% when it is promising something, when it is delivering the results which is required much before the age a child reaches? So I think we, you need, we need to just, I don't want to brag too much about my programs, but you implement and everything is in front of your eyes. Fantastic. I, I think communication is so important. Trust me, if I was better communicator, I would be doing much better. Maybe it's, it's sitting in NASA, right? It's all about <laughs> starting and talking early. You know, I started talking very late, which is why I talk a lot now. But quickly asking, we have a lot of, I think the idea is, I have two questions now, one to Valita ma'am and one to the parents across. I'm getting questions across and we'll take two more questions before we end the session. One is how many of you as parents would be interested to join a Jolly Phonics course as a parent? So give me a yes in the chat box and we will you know, open up a forum after that. Number two, yes, Golden Sparrow can reach. We've started a Jolly Phonics as a subject right Valita ma'am any experience any suggestion that you you know anything that you can share that there's some wonderful time with the kids I think every day is wonderful with the kids when you both are teaching but something that you can share from the classes last year yes, yes. so basically sir when we started with our uh, LKG and UKG the kids were totally blank they did not know even a single sound actually it should have been covered in the nursery but the kids did not know any of the, uh, the sounds, like, you know, phonetically. They could not read. But by the end of the year, we can proudly say that kids can read sentences now. And it's really amazing. Like, uh, for instance, if you say cat, like if it's going to be C-A-T, it's like just rote learning. But with phonics, you can, you know, act. So this is how they get the entire sound and they learn and it's much easier for them to read. Perfect. I think this is wonderful the way you are reading and telling stories. Are there good stories in, in phonics world across Hima ma'am? Yes, it is connected. Every sound is connected with a storyline. So if you if you talk about Sir Sam, the child directly correlates with the snake because snake is involved in the story. So that is how when a child is three, three and a half year old, he directly correlates it with the main storyline, the punchline of the stories, which is connected with each sound so that they can relate it better and they have they have better vocabulary at the age of three and four. Perfect, perfect. I think I think what I love to do sharing the website that we have here is as we restart our academic year from June 2022, we are looking forward to your participation. We are looking forward to great numbers. And trust me, with the team that I've got led by Hema ma'am, wonderful teachers out there, Valeta ma'am, Annie ma'am, Christina, I think we're going to have a wonderful time, not just learning, but teaching our kids and learning ourselves. All of you who wish to get to know more about the program, most, most of you are in the groups that we've got, the creative classroom, three groups rather now. Or if you still don't have a number, just take a snapshot of this number. You can email, you can WhatsApp to us, you can go to the website and log in there and reach out to us. Tell us your queries and doubts before we start the program. We're starting our entire academic year from June 22. We're ending now. I'm looking forward to my break. I'm sure all of you are. But until then, have a great time. Thank you so much for your participation. And absolutely wonderful. Hey, ma'am, ma your heart, ma'am, was rocking. I think I'll do that with my daughters now and make sure I bond well. May I have not any heart, ma'am, for wives here? Any suggestion before I end? Oh, yes, yes. Well. yes. I have one ready. <laughs> okay. uh, heart, ma'am, has got a diamond ring. Is that right? There's nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> they can go ahead so that sooner they can chase their dreams in life. The husband also keeps on watching at the heart path and he also knows where I have to reach. <laughs> I'm going to put a big one in my house. Thank you so much. Thank you parents from both the schools and across everyone. I think we had a great time. Annie ma'am, Zalita ma'am, thank you so much for being here. It was wonderful speaking to all of you. Bye-bye you. And, and thank you. Stay Bye. safe. Thank you, sir. All right, we have got a, Omar, thank you so much. One of my hub students is telling everybody to go to the website. I'm going to put both the link that ma'am shared about, about the heart map and the website in the groups that follows. All right, thank you so much. Goodbye. Thank Take you care. so Goodbye. much.